You're watching Mom Pulse and this is Christine and Twins. Being a parent isn't always easy. There's a lot of pressure, big decisions, and then sometimes sacrifice. However, the reward is greater than anything else you'll ever know. It's filled with happiness, it's a lot of fun, and then there's many memories that will constantly remind us that being a parent has changed our lives for the better. This Sunday is Father's Day and I had an opportunity to sit down with some dads and talk and here's what they had to say. Oh man. Um. Ow. <laughs> First time? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> Me? exactly what came to mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, you know, I didn't believe it at first, um, but it was one of those things where she was trying to get my attention to call me into the room to tell me because she had taken a pregnancy test. And of course I was out watching sports with my friends <laughs> and ignoring her. And, uh, and then she started texting me saying things and I didn't respond. And then finally she texted me a picture of the pregnancy test. Oh my gosh, while you were with your friends at a sports bar. Well, no, I was in the living room, oh. ignoring her. <laughs> she was 30 feet away. Um, so, uh, when I saw the picture, then I knew, and, I, and she got my attention then. I think that would definitely get someone's attention. Yeah. We didn't get into trying period though, because the first one, it was like, we should have a baby, and she was like pregnant right away. And then the second one was like, we should have a baby, and she was pregnant right away. And the third time, we talked about having a baby, and she was pregnant. It was like, I got no fun, wow. like, oh. you know, let's go <laughs> try, you know, to make a baby. It would have to, have to, you know, adjust and grow as a man. Um, my responsibility would be very heightened uh, excitement, um, well, you know, fear, scared, mm -hmm. unknown. Um, you know, because I, I want to be good at everything, so I think, uh, a ton of emotion, but I think just like, just how to be better. You know, I was blown away, I think, with excitement. Um, it was one of those things where I think you kind of panic in the beginning because it's something unknown, but immediately after that, it's like, oh my god, I'm gonna be a father. I'm gonna shape somebody's life. The feeling that I have now is, is something that I've never had before, and it's, you know, something that I feel every father has to look forward to. I'm getting teary-eyed because they're my kids, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, even for a few months after uh, I had my, my first son, I didn't know what to do. You know, I was kind of just, you know, you know, observing and watching, and, you know, I mean, my wife didn't know what to do either. We kind of figured out our, <laughs> right, you know, right. along the way. And there's a lot of times when uh, we just stood there doing this, like, what do we do? Um, it really took me a few months to bond with him. But with my second son, it was instant. <laughs> um, probably one for her every ten. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Just okay. the ones that don't have the extra special Only the baby blue, surprise. The blue lines. I only changed the, the blue, blue lines. lines. Yeah, that's it. Um, now she's definitely got the upper hand um, as far as the uh, diapers go, um, for sure. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I think my record right now is uh, six seconds. <laughs> oh wow. I don't mind changing that, especially newborns. It's just a little. Nothing in sports. It's harder later on when they start rolling all over the place. The three year old, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's. Oh, it's pretty scary. Uh, it's like war crimes in his, in his pants. It's horrible. You hear that? Fathers to be war crimes in his pants. Tell him what you do to me. <laughs> um, I will say this I changed the first diaper in he the did. hospital. He did. But now, now I, I do this thing where I go to Christine. You have to come in here and see this. And she walks into the room and she looks at it and it's just a huge mess of a diaper and then I just have her hold the baby and I walk <laughs> And I And I, I do all of them. But I will say you change a lot of diapers. I, I'm impressed. You know, I do change a lot of diapers and I I do it as much as I can, but the big ones come to <laughs> the mommy. The big ones go to mommy. Because <laughs> daddy just can't handle that. Of course I do. <laughs> Good. See? 
Excellent. What do you mean? I don't think she changed Kyla's diaper for almost a year. <laughs> I think I changed every diaper for the first year. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, that's part of the job. You gotta do it. That's right. Plus, if they're breastfed, poop smells like buttered popcorn. <laughs> Side note. Good to know. My first son, and he'll be upset that I say this, but I mean, he used to make such a mess. <laughs> You, you might not have gotten to this yet, but like he would like dig in with his hands. And it oh was, boy! It was everywhere, um, and, and that doesn't bother me. I just pick him up, you know, put him in the tub, and, and yeah, go too, clean up. Easier. And my, my wife would always, no, you're doing it. You know, I'm not doing it. You know, that that kind of you know, grows through. Just if I can just have a day with the family where I don't have distractions and there's not something else I have to go do, like just hanging out with the family, like the barbecue, mm -hmm. whatever. Sadly, it's not as often as I would like. Aww. It's just busy. Yeah, that's everybody's yeah, schedule. That's everybody schedule. Every day, really, though, is Father's Day for me because I get to be home with the kids. So. Well, this is going to be my first Father's Day. As long as we're together, it's, it's what matters. It's really easy to go somewhere and pay money and be entertained, but I find the best entertainment is really some sort of, you know, one on one or one on two, like me and the boys or with my wife or whatever. So uh, nice. we, we really like hanging around the pool. Mm -hmm. You know, we swim, we goof off. I don't know. Jenna's like got like a million surprises. <gasps> so <we'll... laughs> to just just hanging out together, is, you know, cooking something or taking a walk, a stroll. You know the song, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. Just the three of us. <laughs> anyway, we'll change the song. My necklace. Oh, let's see. Aww. This is my uh, this is my ticket. This is my license to freedom. This is where my kids and my wife tell me to make my own rules and carve my own path. Wow! And that they love me and trust me and support me anyway. So they're really crazy, <laughs> but I love the necklace. I have one from a couple years ago that my youngest made. It was a picture of him. And it, I don't remember exactly, but it said, I'm nuts for you, something oh, like that. So Maybe cute. had some, some nuts or shells or something on it, but, I mean, that's a keeper. yeah, it was, it was really, really, it's still in the fridge from a, a few years ago. Uh, the thing, my wife knows this, where I like the world's greatest dad stuff, so oh, <laughs> every year I get a world's greatest dad something. hear that, companies? Something. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just like it. I'm excited to just get a Father's Day gift. I mean, the first one's going to be amazing whatever it is, but I look forward honestly to the future of just getting handmade, maybe paintings, or like a baby necklace as it's a dad, anything like that, you know, it's, it's really something that I think is going to be so special. You know, I don't know that there was one thing that my father ever said, but there was a precedent set very early that you just... You know, it's family first and respect. You gotta respect people. Um, so I don't know that he ever said that. He just led by example, which is, I think, the best way to do it. When the baby comes, make sure that you and your wife, or your baby's mama, whoever it's going to be, um, that you take time to. Uh, be with each other and appreciate each other, even though it's going to seem like you don't have time. Take 10 minutes and sit and have a cup of coffee and just talk and don't don't lose each other in the chaos because it's uh, it can happen pretty quick. I absolutely love that he just said that because that is really important for couples because I've talked to some couples lately and they do get lost in the kids, so great advice. I have advice for expecting mothers, and I tell them all the time, but they never listen. What and is it? My advice is always sleep when the baby sleeps. Mm -hmm. The baby's sleeping, run, jump into bed, close your eyes, forget the laundry, forget um, dishes, whatever. Life lessons. Uh, I feel like I have a ton. I just want them to kind of pick a path maybe when they're any age but when they know what they want to do or if they have an idea they want to try or, or want to test out they shouldn't be scared to I want them to know that they can do that you know that if, if 
they want to go try a sport, I want them to play the sport and I want to support them as much as I can if they want to play piano. You know, I want them to try it because trying everything is how you know what you want to do. I think just I have more patience than I thought I did. Like she could be going bananas in my face and I'm just like, you know, I just knows a lot to her and I, I it's almost it's, like you don't hear me. it, right? Yeah. It's yeah. I just want to wish my father a very special happy Father's Day, Dad. And I really want to thank you for always teaching me to not sweat the small stuff and remind myself that I do always have my health. Because sometimes I think things are the end of the world and they're really not. And you always remind me that there could be things a lot worse in life. So I love you, Dad, and I miss you so much.